Warning, use professional supervision when creating equipment. This project has been rated hard. Do it yourself Duke here. As you can see, the home gym is progressing. And as it does progress, we find ourselves with a lot of mess here. You can see all the plates are laying on the floor and a lot of people have suggested, hey, dudes, how about building a weight tree? And not only is that a good project, it's gonna be a very valuable project for the Buff Dudes Home Gym. We're gonna put this weight tree together. It's really simple. There's only 11 pieces to it. Yeah, I made a little diagram of it here, the way it's going to look, really simple. The main support's 48 inches tall. This one is 23 inches. Then we have two at 20 inches. These are little pipes we'll be able to store the bars in. Then we have three quarter inch pipe that's going to go through for the plates to go on to. And those are also 20 inches. So really simple design, but very useful. And we're gonna weld it this time out of steel. You, however, can make it out of wood also. We'll do a separate video on that. But let's do steel this time so we can use the welder. That's always cool. Okay, here's all the pieces we have. Pretty simple, again, only 11 pieces to build this thing. You can see some of it's rusted, some of it's kind of different sizes. That's simply because I got it out of the scrap yard. Way cheaper practically nothing. I mean, it does cost. This This costs about $35, all the steel. If you would buy it new, it'd be, you know, I'm guessing 100. The steel is just so expensive. And don't buy it at Home Depot, whatever you do. It's so expensive there, all the steel. So again, three pieces of three quarter inch pipe, 20 inches long. This is actually a two by three inch, but you can do a two by two and that's 23 inches long. Then we have the ends, and let's just go ahead and put this together. These ends are 20 inches long, the same length as the pipe. Then we have the upright. Then what I did is I cut these old pipes. These are two and a quarter inches by seven inches. I'm gonna weld them right across that seam for extra strength. I'm gonna go there. Then these supports are gonna go here. Again, most trees I've seen don't even have these, but I thought, you know what, I got these anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. And, they're in, and then the pipes are gonna go through here. These are gonna be plenty strong enough to hold the weights that are gonna go on this tree. In addition, we'll wanna mention the hole placement. The first hole is gonna be at 11 inches, the second hole at 28 and a half, and the third hole at 39. Again, 45 pound plates, 35 pound plates, 25s or 35s, 25s and 5s and 10s and 45s on the bottom. That's it basically. So now we're going to weld it together. Since we got this steel to salvage yard, it was rusty. It sits out in the weather. It's just surface rust. All you gotta do is grind it off. You can still see it's nice solid steel. When you get that rust off, what that's gonna do is give you a nice solid weld and make a strong joint. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do before you start tacking this thing together is make sure your joints are all squared up. Get yourself one of these magnets. They're really great for holding this steel together so you don't have to. Otherwise, you gotta clamp it and all that stuff, but the magnet works way better. And then once you get attached, you can move to the other side, square it up, and it uses so many angles there. So let's go ahead and put a weld on this thing. Get yourself a good helmet. This one has a wide viewing area. You can get the auto shade too. Auto shades are way more expensive than the standard kind. I have a standard kind, had an auto shade, but the auto shade went out, so I'm using this one. So once you get that tacked together this side, just go about tacking in all the pieces together, making sure it's all tacked real well so it's not gonna fall apart, and then go ahead and start your welds on there. You can do the base at a time, fully weld the base, then start with your upright, fully weld that once it's tacked, and then just build upon it until your tree is finished. So we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. 
So since we're using flux cord wire, it leaves slag on there. So you're gonna to wanna to chip that off with this. And you got a nice weld there. We'll go ahead and weld the sides and that. Whenever you weld something, it wants to pull towards the weld. So just remember that. First tack all the points and then go ahead and fully weld that. If you want it, not have that slag on there, go ahead and get solid core wire with CO2 gas or CO2 argon mix. That's gonna eliminate having to chip that stuff off. It'll also lessen the fumes. You could probably see a lot of that stuff building off and it goes right in your face. So get yourself a fan and blow it out of there. Okay, you want to make sure this this part of the tree is level so your weights don't slide up. Nine and a quarter. There it is. Simple build, nice easy weight tree. We're gonna go ahead and finish the welds, clean it up, paint it with a rattle can. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this little foam. Same foam we use for the arm blaster. I'm gonna cut it out, and I'm gonna put it on these ends here. So if you're barefooted, you're not gonna hit your, your toes with that. So we've got it all welded all around. It's nice and strong. That's gonna complete it all. So what you're gonna wanna do now is go ahead and what they call dingleberry starts sticking there. You want to just hit it real quick with the grinder or even sometimes a scraper knock all that off two you want to make sure these sharp edges that you've used and you've cut it develops a really almost razor sharp edge go ahead and grind that down so it's nice and smooth on all these pipes as well so you don't ever cut yourself on this stuff next we're going to wipe it down with some wax and grease remover but you don't have to use this stuff you can use anything that'll get this oil oily surface off and for the paint we're going to use this stuff it's cheap and like the other gym equipment flat black a really good look all done what an awesome way to clean up a room of all those weights that were on the floor you saw the first shot where it was a mess and there it is all in one concise little area when you build your own just adjust these measurements for what you need to have. Just measure your weights and see where you need to be on that. You can always adjust this because this is 48 inches so you got a lot of room to play with. Next, we need to clean these dumbbells up. That's messy. So we'll be building a dumbbell rack too. Send us some requests and we'll get it done.